Incredible performance. Hi, I'm John Wheeler, a proud member of the Whitby Curling Club and a REMAX Realtor. Wishing all the competitors at the 2018 Ontario Scotties the very best of luck. When it's time to get a handle on your house, hurry, call John. He's no hack. At Hand and Stone, we believe it's not what you get out of a massage or facial. It's what a massage or facial gets out of you. Give us one hour and we'll turn your weekly grind into a weekly grin. We're taking relaxation from being a little pricey to a little price. Only at Hand and Stone. Make every day different at Subway restaurants with the $3.99 sub of the day. Every day it's a different six inch sub, like sweet onion chicken teriyaki on Wednesday for just $3.99. Or make it a foot long for just $7.49. Only at Subway restaurants. Welcome curling fans across Ontario and around the world to another exciting season of curling on Title Sports Live. Today we have live coverage of the Ontario Women's Scotties Tournament of Hearts being held here at the Whitby Curling Club in Whitby, Ontario. My name is Mary Chilvers and I am joined here today by the 2015 Ontario Scotties champion Julie Hastings. Good afternoon Julie. Good afternoon Mary. It's great to be here and to be a part of the Ontario Scotties Tournament of Hearts Provincial Championships. This event features the top women's curlers in the province and our afternoon matchup will be Team Wazilki versus Team Madaw. They are competing for a chance to represent Ontario at the National Scotties Tournament of Hearts event being held in Penticton, British Columbia from January 27th to February 4th. So on our featured sheet this afternoon we do have from the Coldwater Curling Club Skip Sherry Madaw along with her third Joanne Rizzo second Lee Merklinger and the lead is Lee Armstrong. They will be going up against the team from the Unionville Curling Club skipped by Caitlin Wazilke. Playing third for Caitlin is Lauren Wazilke. Second is Stephanie Thompson and the lead is Katrina. I don't know her last name Julie. We're going with Sale today. <laughs> <laughs> it's either Sale or Collins. She was Collins. Yeah. Uh, she's she's now Sale. Okay. There's a story behind it, but There's it's okay. <laughs> okay, can we talk about it later? <laughs> so right now we're just into the uh, second practice. Team Ada has the second practice. And then we will get this game underway. So I think of note on the Wazilki team is that Katrina does throw lead rocks, but she holds the broom okay. for Kate when she goes to throw. So she does have the vice duties in the house. And we do have three other games taking place this afternoon. On sheet two, we have Team Duncan versus Team Cadoran. Both are representing the Royal Canadian Curling Club. 
On sheet three, we have Team Ald from the Listowel Curling Club playing Team Armstrong from the Rideau Curling Club. And on sheet five, Team Tippin from Woodstock Curling Club is playing Team Marshall from the Toronto Cricket Skating and Curling Club. And we have four teams who won this morning and got a break this afternoon. And they will be playing later on this evening at 7.30 in the A-side semis. And they are Team Inglis, Team Flaxy, Team Harrison, and Team Hagestad. So we're, we've got quite a good crowd here this afternoon, Julie. I guess everybody's skipping uh, school and work today <laughs> because the parking lot was full. And as you can see here, we've got bleachers on the, uh, on the ice. People are braving it there with their blankets and coats. I did see uh, a lot of teenagers walking in the building today, so it looks like they got uh, time off from school. There they are, to come in, uh, and watch this game. So I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit louder out there today. Should be a lot of fun here. So far this uh, Whitby Curling Club has done a fantastic job here. Hospitality is great. Mine's perfect. I'm not sure yet if the Brock Street Brewery <laughs> is open yet. Like well, I think I think it is. I yeah. think it is, but it's just not very busy at the moment. No. So that's over on sheet one. Yeah. Standing yeah. room only Standing, for the pacers yeah. out there who don't like to sit during games. As we can see, there's a lot of people behind the glass as well. I'll just put this on my stopwatch on. Really good. Coming to watch the best this? ladies players I just have to take it off because my stopwatch up is up in the top. province this is light, light. so this pole draw has teams that are now on the B side yeah, of this competition we are uh, just hold this. they're really important Why games you kind of don't want to um, get too far down in the in the event uh, if you make your way to the C side you're in a do or die situation so B side you're still uh, you've suffered one loss so these games are really important they want to get back on track yeah, they've uh, all got a couple of games under their belt yeah. now. And uh, like you say, Julie, they do have one loss already. And uh, no need to panic, but nope. it, does, it does make you slightly nervous. You do want to win this game. I like the B-side of events. I think you play a couple more games before you get to the playoffs. So yeah. you get a little bit more ice time out there before uh, the big games come along. So Sherry's now ready to throw her draw to the button for hammer. Okay, more line. Puts it right on the pin. Good job. So Sherry Madaw will have the hammer in this first end. Thanks, I did my best. <laughs> Who penned it? Gone are the days when you would flip a coin to see who has <laughs> hammer. This is the way they do it now everywhere. Yeah. You have to earn it. Yeah, and you know, practices at your home club are now incorporating those those draw to the button in your practice routines. Yeah. It's so important. Yes. can hear them talking. Yeah. yeah. We have two minutes. We can't start until 2.30. So, do, I'm not sure, Julie, if the Wazilki team has a coach here. Um, the coach for Team Mada is Bob Turcotte. And he has been with 
the Madaw team for a number of years now. I'm going to say at least four. He brings a lot of uh, knowledge to this team, for sure. having a little trouble with the time clocks or not. They're taking a little extra time here. The other teams, other games have already started. We can't see the time clocks up here. So these two teams did not meet in competition this year. We've got no head-to-head -head stats no on that. No head-to-head stats. Madaw's team has been together for eight years, but this Wadzilki team, this is a new lineup. This is new this year? New this year. Yeah. Kate and Lauren, and I think even Steph has, have played together. Katrina's new to the team, and I think this is Kate's first year skipping the whole year. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kate will be up against a very experienced skip here in Sherry Madaw. So we'll watch the ice here, Julie. Typically what we've seen so far is it starts out very fast. It tends to slow down around the sixth end. It's not curling yet. Okay. Yeah, and that's going to go through the house, or at least back 12. Like Sherry's not going to fool around. She's going to put that corner guard up. Kate is calling to come around this corner guard, which is a risky call. She could put up a tight center guard here. Room, Does not want to fool room, around right with now. around the corner guards here. Room. Has to be placed perfectly. Room. This has to yep. be about the T line. Line's if you're going around the corner. Nice. Yeah. Room. Top twelve. Yep. All right, Steph. Right on the nose here would be a nice shot. Yeah, nice control weight there. Yeah, that's okay. Those two rocks are a little bit dangerous for Wazilki, and uh, she's playing very aggressively here in the first end, coming yeah. around these. 
I think again, a short Five rock pass. here. Yeah. Even if you threw yeah, one just short of the rings ready. would be okay. Deep would not be a good option. Whoa, Ram. They could have played the hit. Yeah, on they the could have hit that one close to the rings yeah. and just rolled it 14, on, seven. rolled it on or rolled oh, it to the center. Okay, that's fine, Tiff. Yeah, so Sherry's just gonna come around everything here. I like this split, personally. You like this split? Yeah, we, we can try this first. Same as this drop. Needs to get this one in front of the T-line. Mm -hmm. It's really important. A little heavy here. No well, she got shot rock, so Mizuki's mm -hmm. going to have to. Well, she can make a play on it or throw the draw again. They're definitely getting right into it here in the first mm. end. shot there. Okay. Her line was good. Just back eight, same weight. And if you do that, that's fine. Just Ten. same weight. How much of that can you see? She say same weight? Yeah. So Sherry just wants to punch this yellow rock back. Back to the back 12. It's a little tight. She can punch her red guard into the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's got options here. One thing about Sherry is she does like to have lots of rocks in play. for the hit and roll. Not not terrible. It's a good shot. Yeah, 
You could try that. Yeah, I feel you giving up too. Can you try that? Tolerance is hitting it on this side here. Just normal. I need to be a bit creative on that. Sorry. I think this is a better choice. I like this better. I think with the run back, you were kind of oh, almost oh, potentially oh. doing the work for the Madaw team yeah. if, you'd, if it overcurled. So. Yeah, you could have been in a bit of trouble after yeah. throwing that shot. So. And I think the and yellow rock, even though it's lonely in there, I, I think it's jamming on the back red one all Why day, even if Madaw makes right. a play on it. So. Throw a firm weight hit here, right on the nose. Move these rocks yeah. around. Hard. Hard. And I guess it's late. Well. Oh, just a little tight on that. I just had side edge. I like that. Caitlin will just try to put another guard up here. Probably wants it a little bit higher. Yeah. Make the run back a little bit tougher. A bit higher here is okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, just guarding that. Red. Yeah. Unfortunately, the back ones are a catcher. We can go tap tap if you can cross that a bit. Yeah. I added a touch. The line's a little bit tighter than the first one. Down this path. No, 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 no. Over curling a bit here. Off of that. Off of it. That might have been the difference between Kate's intern and Lauren's out turn. Yes. They have two lefties on their team, okay. Stephanie and Unless Lauren. So tap, tap. Wow. just a little tap, bit more tap, positive tap, on the out turn. Yeah. And Different it held the line a little bit better than sure. Kate's yeah. in turn. Typically out turns don't curl as much as in turns. Right. So she's, that's a challenge for a skip to have two lefties, right. two righties. Okay. Well, it's <laughs> nice because, you know, she can see Steph's line when yeah. Steph is throwing at, at the second position and Lauren can follow her. Sherry's going to play a little tap tap here. Just has to hit what she can see of that red rock. I feel like, like she might be trying to open it up, but yeah, I'll probably have to throw another guard out there. Yeah. And my intern will finish more so than Laura's out turn, right? But That one, that would be great. All right, that's fine. Ah, 
I think just more weight than what I she wanted I there. I think so, yeah. Side of center, though, and right? I think you'll notice that Sherry typically doesn't take as much ice as the other teams that she yeah. plays. Mm -hmm. They have a bit more rotation. I always found playing Sherry, we always give a little bit more ice than Sherry's team. Okay. They throw a little bit more rotation on their rocks, yeah. so. Unless yeah. if we come corner frozen, that's okay too. Oh, you got bang, bang, bang. Or two, maybe. Yeah. Hit it right. Yeah, we just want to be careful about that. Okay, just the taking a bit more ice here. I'm pretty sure the four will. Uh, if we're, we're like a two together, over here, that's okay. Yeah, if it comes so heavy, corner frozen to that yellow. Wow, well, so we have to be careful because the yellow is jamming back there. Right, but it should be. So Caitlin's just going to try to put a little bit of a better guard up this time. The main thing we get one. Mm -hmm. The other thing is maybe two. A lot more I have a lot. Uh, it's better. Two. Yeah. And more rotation. You don't want that red to go straight back. No. You want it to hit half of that one. Looks like lots. There it goes. Curling now. Why is it curling so much? That was yeah. edge of eight. Frozen yeah, this yellow. is really cutting across the right. ice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that was Nothing. almost like it hit a soft spot on the ice or yeah, something. And yeah. she even said that she put extra okay. rotation on it. Yeah. I don't think it's that, line that easy now. There, right? Yeah. They just have to get on it sweeping earlier, I think. Just hold it out. Hold it over I think there. If you hit it just seven eighths, right? Yeah, I think this is better, Joe. Yeah. So Sherry just has to just has to get a piece of the uh, the button here. Score her point. <laughs> we'll see what her rock does in this it's spot, Julie. Okay, so what do you want to see? Is it the same as the draw to button? Well, Their rocks are really curling. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Last. Okay. So do you think the same as my draw to the button then? Like a 10? Sherry says a 10. I think she is referring to the split time of a 410 split for T line, which is pretty fast ice. Felt like a lot. Felt like a lot. Looks a little hot here. 13.5. Okay, I like going tight, Kat. Yep. So with that, Wazilki will take, steal a point here in the first end. one nothing for Wazilki. And Madaw will have Hammer going into the second. That four rocks, see there the whole end. Title Sports Live would like to invite curling fans across Canada and around the world to tune into our pay-per-view coverage of the 2018 Men's Recharge with Milk Tankard, January 30th to February 4th. Watch the best teams compete for a chance to represent Ontario at the Tim Hortons Briar in Regina, Saskatchewan. Get your tickets at www.titlesportslive.ca slash pay-per-view. Caitlin just calling a tight guard. Nice. Very nice shot by Katrina.
Straight up. Tap it off. Tap it off. Whoa, 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 we're by, we're by. Very nice. Good. Beautiful side. shot by Lee Armstrong. Just a little bit. Okay. You can come around the same way here. Well done. That worked out. So updating you on the other sheets, we had blank ends uh, in the Duncan and Kadoran game. So that's, uh, looks like Kadoran does have Hammer playing the second end. And our other sheet with a blank end, Tippin versus Marshall. Uh, no score as they're playing the second Rip. end and Marshall has last rock. And on sheet Rip. three, uh, all took a big four-ender in the first end. So leading four nothing against Armstrong. Really nice shot again here. Nice one. Okay. Leads are curling up a storm here. Now here's where Caitlin should perhaps peel the guard. She could be into a little bit of trouble here if she keeps drawing with Sherry having hammer. Yeah, I think the second position is where you typically take stock of how the end is going so far and do you need to have a bail shot? Yeah. notice there's a lot of good communication with the Mada team. Sherry's telling them the whole way down where the rock is. Yeah. Got the nose. It's good for sweepers to know that. Julie, what do you think on this shot? What do you think we should be, Kate, we should be doing here? I, I actually don't mind hitting the open red rock and rolling over, and then you have two rocks to use to promote into the red rocks that are on the forefoot. Yeah, she's definitely um, or choosing the harder shot here. I, yeah, but even the peel is fine. The peel, the peel is a good option too, I think. Now I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it doesn't matter what you call, as long as you make it. Yeah, exactly. The, the right call is the one you're going to make. Yeah. That's what I say sometimes.
So Joanne's going to try the run back here. Thought maybe Sherry would call a draw, but this is fine. She can hit and stick this. Yeah, it's definitely a missed opportunity. Just a little light on the draw. Now it uh, kind of staggers those guards and gives Caitlin a chance to get one in there. to be in front of the tee line. Perfect shot. Maybe slightly deep, but it's a uh, great shot. Yeah. So Sherry just wants to tap this back a foot. It's a tricky shot because it's completely buried. Actually, Sherry's weight was quite good in that. She wanted back okay. line weight. But I think to get any curl, you have to actually throw less than that. Yeah. It's like a back eight. I think Sherry's struggling a little bit with draw weight today. Oh, I gotta slow down my leg drive. Yeah. Yeah, she's just pushing a little too hard out of the hack. Yeah. That will be good about the sixth end. 
So why is it, Julie, that Katrina holds the broom? Is there any particular reason? That's a good question. Um got seniority on the team she just decided what she wants to do <laughs> maybe <laughs> i don't blame her <laughs> um it might be uh the sweeping scenario i think yeah. steph and lauren um have been sweeping as a as a duo for yeah. a couple of years and they like the rhythm that they have together so that might be the reason why cat's in the house cat's got a lot of experience as well you know in she this game katrina went to the canadian junior championships as a vice Okay. She won yep. the Ontario Juniors with Sarah Garland, who right. later became Sarah Harvey. Yeah. And Katrina was vicing on that team. So yep. she has a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. And there's a fantastic shot right Great there. Great shot. Yeah. Yeah. With that kind of weight. Mm, there's no run back here I for Sherry. So. I don't think that's going anywhere. No, it's you not. You just want to hit it and make one go away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Sherry's best she can do is get rid of one of these mm -hmm. rocks, the back the back yellow. Give up another steal of one, which is not terrible. Nine and a half. Just a little outward yeah. positive outturn. Yeah, it should and be it weight on straight. it. Yeah. There's no way that's coming back. So with that, it's another steal, a steal of two here for the Wazilki team. End of the second end, so it's now a three nothing score for Wazilki over Madaw. Yeah, with a nine two. Okay. Still, uh, only the second end, so no wow, need to panic for the Madaw team. No, no. The problem is when uh, when you start to miss a few shots, you do tend to lose your confidence a bit. Right. So they just gotta pump up the skip here, yeah. and they've been in these situations a million times. So, so Katrina Sale throwing first lead rocks here. So she, as again, she has a, an impressive resume on Ontario Junior Champion. Eight-time Scotty's participant and was my teammate when we won the 2015 Ontario Championships. She was Collins when she won with my team and now she's Sale. Just likes to switch it up a bit, eh? She does. She likes yeah. to keep it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you were saying she won the... Uh, Sportsmanship the Award. Sportsmanship Award yeah. in the 2015 season when we won uh, the Ontario's. Okay. And Two. Yeah, Katrina's everyone's friend. Nice girl. She just likes to have fun out there. She and does. She yeah. doesn't, she's serious, but she likes to keep it light as well. That's, yeah. that's the way she's always been successful. <laughs> and putting up that corner guard for the Madaw team is their lead, Lee Armstrong. And Lee, with this team, uh, won the silver medal at the Roar of the Rings in 2014. They lost the final to Jennifer Jones. And she is a 2006 Canadian mixed champ. It's not moving. I believe that was with John Epping. Mm. Yeah. That team was John Epping, Julie Tippin, Scott Foster, and Lee. Like another one? I believe. Playing out of the Oakville? Yeah. Curling club that year, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Sherry's going to put up another corner guard. Usually when you're looking for two or three points here, you tend to put both guards up. Bars will go. Bars will go. You got it. Okay, good sweep. Good sweep. So this is Steph Thompson throwing the second stones for Team Wazilki. She's a three-time mixed doubles provincial finalist. So Sherry's got something going here now. She's got two corner guards up. She's got a rock in the back of the 12 foot to work with. Second for uh, Sherry Madaw is Lee Merklinger. Room right now. Room. Of course, Lee was on the same team, lost the final to Jennifer Jones at the Roar. Gotta be back here. Back here. All you. Yep, yep, yep. She has her little son Parker here with her this week. Okay, too much ice. Two years old. Okay. Next month. Of course, the Merklinger is a big name in the curling world. Sister Anne, Bill, and Dave Merklinger, all well-known curlers. Oh, got a little lucky on that one. With yeah. <laughs> the perfect roll as well. Oh, she ticked the back side of the guard and made the shot in the roll. Just tick it, nine and a half. It did just hit and roll off the top one. <laughs> yeah, Sherry could actually just throw some kind of a soft shot here, even remove that top. Whoa rock on the center whoa, line by just whoa. tapping it to the side whoa. or something sticking whoa, around whoa. watch the roll army she will have a chance though in the next one if they peel this guard she can play That's freezes awesome. and taps. Yeah. Come around the other guard. Yeah, I guess now, yeah. Nine. So this is Lauren throwing third stones for the Wazilki team. She, uh, she's been to the Scotties national event, representing Newfoundland with Team Curtis. Twice, yeah. once in 2013, once in 2016. Well, and I believe Curtis is going back this year. Mm -hmm. I think she won Newfoundland. <laughs> Sherry is hitting this. Just throwing yeah, nice yes. weight at it. Hard. Yes. Whoa, go for the double. Whoa, whoa, we don't have it anymore. Okay, that's good.
Throwing third for the Madaw team is Joanne Rizzo. Joanne's actually plays in the senior tour as well. She was uh, 2016 and 2017 Ontario champion as a skip. And she was runner up at the senior nationals last year. Of course, her uncle is the very famous Shorty Jenkins. Sorry, Joe, just have to put it where you need to hit it. Yeah. So throwing the draw to the open side. So not a really good opportunity to blank this end, so Madaw throwing the freeze. Sherry is uh, quite an accomplished curler. She has won provincial six times, uh, five from Ontario and one from Saskatchewan. And four-time bronze medalist at the National Scotties. Of course, married to Wayne Madaw. Mine's good. Get it there. Gotta go. She's been in the province here actually for 20 Mine's years. Be great. Moved here 20 years ago right to Ontario. Don't know that they got shot. From the overhead, it looks like Wazoki is still shot. Yeah, based on that comment, I don't think she is shot, so Wazilki's going to draw here to try to sit two points. Brock Street Brewing Brewing Company over there, Julie, is getting busier. Yeah, a few more people coming yeah. in. All men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the place to be by the end mm -hmm. of the week. I'm telling you, it's going to be a sure. lineup. Yeah. <laughs> so, Caitlin. Uh, was a Canadian junior bronze medalist with Team Jamie Sinclair out of Ontario back in 2013. She's played in the Canadian mixed doubles <coughs> and uh, also an accomplished university <coughs> level curler. Does it say when she played in the uh, Canadian mixed doubles? 2015. Does it say who with? It, she didn't mention. She didn't mention? No. I'm curious. Yeah. She also works with future guide dogs. That would be a cool job. Say that again. She works with future guide dogs. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's a that's a neat job. Mm -hmm. 
So Sherry actually has a shot here for two yep. because of that missed draw. Ten. She's got to hit this, yeah, roll down. slightly into the eight foot. Uh, she, she could probably just hit it on the nose and be fine. Get her two okay. points. Great shot. Great shot for yeah. two. So Sherry Mada picks up two points here in the third end. Score is now three to two for Wazilki. And Wazilki will have Hammer going into the fourth. And we'll bring you the uh, results from uh, the other sheets so far. On sheet two, we have a tie game, Duncan versus Kadoran. And they're playing their fourth end uh, with Kadoran having last rock. On sheet three, we had a steal of two for Ald again. So that is a 6 nothing lead over Armstrong heading into the fourth end. And on sheet five, it's, uh, it's a tight battle. We had two blank ends in the first and second. Marshall took one point in the third. So Tippin has Hammer in the fourth down one. I actually um, talked to Sherry not too long ago, and she is officially retiring. Really? Yes. She's made that She's uh, made announcement? Decision, or yeah. Not an announcement, no, but I asked okay. her for a little bit of information, yeah. and uh, she did tell you me You just that. announced it. <laughs> I did. I did. I just announced it <laughs> for everybody. But I did ask her if it oh, was okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, it's been a long time. If she's been here 20 years and she was in Saskatchewan yes. before that, it's, yeah. it's a long time. It's it is. And I know her, her daughters are getting older and competing, so... Yeah. Might be wanting to focus a little bit there. You know, I think she, she's, you know, she's going to dabble here and there in mm -hmm. the game, and who yeah. knows if she will uh, play the senior tour. I right? don't know, yeah. but... Um, People don't tend to stay away for very long. They don't. They say right. they retire, and then you, you see them <laughs> appear every once in a while. Well, and I think <laughs> Sherry, you know, really, really loves the game. And uh, I think she might find it kind of hard mm -hmm. not to play. So no announcement from the rest of the ladies on that team, though. Just, just Sherry, you talked to. Well, I talked like to Sherry, and she gave me the impression yeah. that both her and Joanne yeah. were going to be done well, with Joanne this uh, right. level. Yeah. Yeah, with Joanne already playing seniors, it's. Uh, yeah. I would say that's not surprising. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's definitely grueling when you play at this level. Mm -hmm. In order to be, any, you know, successful, you have to play a lot. You have to practice a lot. Running a bit. Fourteen six. Yes.
Nice shot by Lee Merklinger. They are right back in this game. Mm -hmm. I said earlier that Steph was a lefty, but she's not. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. Mm. I played with this team a couple times this year. <laughs> they fooled me. <laughs> yeah, well, you had a 65 foot, so it's more board than 10. Which sure looks better. But it's enough to do the job, so I, don't, I like it too. Same weight. could consider taking the other turn here, Julie, and then if she, my dog goes after it, she Press. could jam it. I'll, I'll do both. I guess I'll confirm with you. Yeah, I think they're getting a little bit more curl on these interns, so that might be dictating mm -hmm. this choice. But you're right, even if they were a little bit exposed on the other turn, the jam would be there. Yeah. Curled in very nicely there. Woo, no kidding. 15, four. Yeah. Straight back. Just a nine. Yeah. The turn we played last time. Where did the box one be able to turn? Did you turn out a nine, right? throw that up weight well. So there's probably a little bit too many red rocks uh -huh. adding up, dictating this hit and roll call. Unfortunately for yes. Caitlin, that rolled this out. This is a good path. This will give Sherry a good chance. I had you out here before. This is good. To bury one here on the forefoot. Where, where, where was that? Pull eight that I had to go, hit, go straight back to? No, I know, but it's not a fresh path anymore. So I got a 15 four. The same thing I threw. Line's good. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Let it work. Wait, room. wait, not through. Room. Line's good. Line's good. Wait only. Here it comes. Line's great. Just for weight. We're going to pop out the Keep other side. High. Oh, front of the ring. Front of the, front of the tea lot out there. Oh. Very good. Very nice. Good job. Very nice. Little heavy. I was like back eight, so yeah. when I let go. Yeah, I so the hair sticky because yeah. it stopped, but 
but maybe another rock or two will be fine. So if Sherry has to throw, just you probably have to shoot. Just be aware. Yeah. The old thing, two doubles in that end, almost a triple to get the yeah. Wait, yes. don't. Yeah, still, by the way they were sounding, I, they thought it was back eight. So well, just stuck I think that the side end. is a little heavier. A titch. Yeah. Yeah, I got 14.9 on it. Okay. You like this height? I do. I'm not sure I like that, that peel call, Julie, only because okay. the rock that was exposed, was? and okay. Sherry's going to now try to put up a better guard, and that is a very mm -hmm. uh, guardable shot. It's biting the button. It's right on the button. Yeah, they could have played tight line on the intern, mm -hmm. and even if you tick the guard over but you roll your shooter into the rings, it's something Sherry has to deal with. Yeah. It was a fairly long guard, so she definitely could have got around it. Yeah. tight but they had to sweep it for line yeah I think it still works there yeah it I does think you get off the top and roll in in fact I th I'd say it's probably perfect I mean she can try to play a run back here but she's not going to be in the rings Tolerance is tight. Okay, try to get the back one, just board. If we wreck on the front and roll in for like a second, and that's okay. I know. Just nice, easy board, yeah. Well, she's playing board weight on this shot. I like it. She's talking about the tolerance, hitting the top one and rolling in. If they are tight. <laughs> yeah, if she hits the top one and rolls in, that's not a bad option. Yep. 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 You have to make a call right away, whether you're going for the original yeah. call or whether you're going to go for the tick on the top one. Yeah. Sweeping's holding this. No, I think she's going to be on the front. Yeah, those are tough ones. Yeah, they are. They were they were going for plan A out of her hand. I think they thought they could make it, but uh, sorry, I didn't like that release. If they had let it curl just a little bit more, they might have stuck around in the rings. So t full 12 is the call. They don't want to come any deeper. They would give a double for Caitlin to get out of the end and take her one. Yeah. If they come in right in the middle of the 12 foot, the double would give Mada a steal. this in too tight. Nope. Don't want to give better. her a double to be shot wrong. Yeah. Which is what she did, yep. but she's still going to make it. Yep. Darn it. Who is this puffers on it? 
Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what's easier to come at it. I think this way and we can hold it if we need to. You want to hit it like just there. Like a little yeah, bit on this side of anything, slow. right? And my next so, one that I threw. I'll throw normal at it though. Two and yeah. later. It was still so I like even there. there. I think it just gets a little quicker. Yeah, a bit less even. Center line should be good. So if we can, it'd be nice to use that side of going away. So normal weight plant across the rock in the top eight foot. Get the double and stick your shooter for one. And I think they just talked if they just knows this, they'll just give up the one, yeah. which is okay too. Yeah. Normal. Yeah, unfortunate for the Madad team that did come just a little deep. Kind of let Caitlin off the hook here. Oh dear, look at that. Oh dear, that is very unfortunate. So two for sure, maybe even three. Well, they need to call a measure if they don't we know. Can measure these if you want. Okay. Measure. So we got three for sure for the Madaw team. I'm just going to measure for this fourth point. I'll go hunt it down. So all the other ends have finished their fourth, and on sheet five, it's a 2-1 lead for Tippin over Marshall. <coughs> Marshall will have Hammer in the fifth. On sheet three, we have Ald uh, leading Armstrong 6-2. to two. Ald has Hammer in the fifth, and on sheet two, uh, they just concluded their fourth end, <laughs> waiting for them to put the score up. Uh, Kodoran did take two, so they're up four to two over Duncan. Duncan having Hammer in the fifth. So I'm not sure that Katrina's ever been in the house to measure a rock. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's. I don't know. A Maybe few this times. year she's had to do a measure, but she yeah. never would have had the opportunity on our team. Joanne's the pro here. Yeah, you can tell Katrina's just letting yeah, Joanne. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so it's just just three. Okay. Steal a three for Mada here. Thanks. Puts her at five to three for Mada after four ends of play. Three red. They looked a lot closer than that, sorry. Are we going right in? I'm going to correct myself on the scoring on sheet two. Uh, Kadoran took a three end in the fourth end, so they're up five to two over Duncan. All the way. Three, four. Yeah. Lee Armstrong wants to get this rock right in the rings. Sherry, three. Lee has a little girl named Vaughn. <laughs> turning three in March. And Lee's dad, Ken Armstrong, is at the Surprise Strathcona Cup in top. Scotland, representing Canada. Sounds like fun. Yeah, <laughs> they're there for 23 days. We. 
23 days. I don't know much about this tournament. Yeah. Do you, Julie? I do. Um, yeah. When I was working at Bayview, we actually hosted the Strathcona Cup <laughs> when the Scottish teams came to Canada. So they do a tour every two years. Okay. The Scottish teams come to Canada and do this 23-day tour where they go from coast to coast. Now, not everybody goes coast to coast, but right. there's events coast to coast. And, um, and then two years after that, the Canadians will go over to Scotland. Okay. So it's a reciprocal every two years. Wow. So, yeah. That's great. The people I know who play in it have a lot of fun. Yeah. I know a lot of the teams, a lot of the clubs in the GTA hosted the Strathcona Cup uh -huh. a couple years ago. Nice. Title Sports Live would like to invite curling fans across Canada and around the world to tune into our pay-per-view coverage of the 2018 Men's Recharge with Milk Tanker, January 30th to February 4th. Watch the best men's teams compete for the chance to represent Ontario at the Tim Hortons Briar in Regina, Saskatchewan. Get your tickets at www.titlesportslive.ca slash pay-per-view. is really running. Might get a piece. Just got it out. There's two Lees on this on this Madaw team, so they uh, they have nicknames. One is called Merc and one is called Ermy. That's how they determine the Lees. So Steph Thompson is the personal trainer for this team. She owns her uh, own strength and wellness business, coaching athletes. Yeah, Obviously, probably has some hard. curlers mm -hmm. <laughs> and her right team. Hard. Right back, Kat. Go, go, go. Hard. Kat, Kat is really okay. huffing and puffing on that one. <laughs> <laughs> guard meaning it's a long guard so there's plenty of room to curl around that and get this rock even though it is 
almost buried. There's a nice curl here. As we mentioned early, yes. earlier yes. in the broadcast, yes. these are all B-side games being yes. played yes. right yes. now. Keep it going. They've all lost one game. This is a triple knockout Hello. format. Sure. You will see one A winner, one B winner, and two C winners go to the playoff, the page playoff system. The Madaw team qualified for this event based on her CTRS ranking this year and the Wazilki team qualified uh, through the West, West qualifier. regional qualifier. Mm -hmm. First time for 12 teams in our provincial championship. I must have had less weight because the roll didn't do the same thing. I would think it should run fairly straight out here with any kind of weight. Yeah, we've seen that earlier in the games, earlier this morning. Not the path to the tee, yeah. the center line. Yeah. I'm trying to get here, so hopefully you're at least at the center line by then. Yeah, I don't mind that then. Okay. So Lauren's or Steph's here. We're going to there. Yeah, I think you need to go out about here though. Yeah, that's yeah. where that math I was doing. <laughs> What do you think of this, Julie? I'm, I'm torn. Mm -hmm. Do you think you I can actually get around there? I think she can get around there. Um, 
If you come up real short, let's say you go to the top four and Sherry makes her run back. You've just cut down your scoring area. Yeah, if she no. uh, is able to get a nose nose. I didn't mind the freeze call on the back red one. I don't think the come around the guard is really an option anymore. There's is that top red one in? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I like throwing a draw somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Mine's really nice. Well, as long as she can get around here, yes. get a little bit of distance between right those line. rocks. That's what I was thinking. You yeah. almost have to go right behind line. the tee line around yes. this red rock yeah. to, make, uh, to make it harder for whoa, Sherry. Whoa. Right. But then you're leaving her a freeze whoa. opportunity. Well, she definitely Step. can get around Step. it. This is, oh, she Hard. might have left it. Oh, just left the sweeping. Where Sherry has to watch the jam here. Nine and a half. Wants to hit this right on the nose. I thought we were. <laughs> if she can hit this on the nose, it is going to make Caitlin's last shot a little tougher. So, Caitlin will have to throw a draw against three to the wing. They've thrown this path a lot, so they should know the speed here. They should, yes. Sweepers aren't touching this yet. Yeah. And that goes just a little too far. I'm not sure. Steal of one, one for sure. One red for sure. Another close one. <laughs> Might be another measure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So one red. Is that what they agreed upon? Yep. yep. Okay, I heard so Joanne and Kat say that they both thought it was yellow for the second oh, shot. Yeah, she's going to hang it. Okay, so after five ends of play, we have a score of 6-3 to three for Team Ada. And we are now going to go to our fifth end break for the players. We, were, we will also take a quick break here, and we will return with the second half of this match shortly.
performance. performance. Hi, I'm John Wheeler, a proud member of the Whitby Curling Club and a Remax Realtor. Wishing all the competitors at the 2018 Ontario Scotties the very best of luck. When it's time to get a handle on your house, hurry, call John. He's no hack. At Hand and Stone, we believe it's not what you get out of a massage or facial. It's what a massage or facial gets out of you. Give us one hour and we'll turn your weekly grind into a weekly grin. We're taking relaxation from being a little pricey to a little price. Only at Hand and Stone. Make every day different at Subway restaurants with the $3.99 sub of the day. Every day it's a different six inch sub, like sweet onion chicken teriyaki on Wednesday for just $3.99. Or make it a foot long for just $7.49. Only at Subway restaurants.
Welcome back everyone to this third draw of the 2018 Ontario Scotties Tournament of Hearts being held here at the Whitby Curling Club. My name is Mary Chilvers and I'm joined with Julie Hastings and we are just starting the sixth end here with a score of Mada up six to three over Wazilki. Mada's team started out a little slow here but they've now gained some speed. Just a few little mistakes by the Wazilki team. I think all but the third end has been steals, Mary. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, now that the Mada team is up a few points, I don't think you're going to see too many strategical mistakes from Sherry. She's going to play very defensively here to keep her lead. Not, le not let the Wazilki team back in this game. A little bit heavy on that one for Lee Armstrong, though. Okay. One more, just start. All right, timing's off. I like one more. Okay. What's the call of attack? Is she get the left ice to the tap? Yeah, we can hold it a little bit. Room! It's curling quite a bit there. Two nice guards by Katrina. Now Sherry will start peeling. And uh, Lee Merklinger is one of the best hitters out there. Caitlin does not need to hit this rock. And what she does not want to do is to roll out. The entire end will be over if she rolls out here. She should just be ignoring all this, going around the corner guard. Even play a tap on that. Now you'll see Sherry just peel the guard. So Caitlin does have a couple of rocks to work with here in the house. She could put up another corner. They are, uh, Mada team are very good at peeling. So she's going to try to place a freeze on this rock in the 12 foot. Line's getting better now. 
The weight's perfect. Yeah, yep. hard, Lauren. Hard. Really nice. great shot. Yeah, a really good shot. Joanne will try to hit this on the nose and blast both of those rocks out of there. She can't pick it without jamming on either side. Yep! Yep! Hard! Hard! Pull it back! Pull it back, Merck! Hard! There's the jam. Just a little tight line. Okay, that's good. It's fine, though. corner guard call yeah it's too early to put another one I in the house so. just With just put a guard up and let them keep sh keep you know throwing peels at that for a while well even if they if they throw the corner and my dog goes after shot rock they've got they're in the back of the house so Where? this looks really this looks heavy. really heavy yeah Set up perhaps a double here. Well, the double's going to jam, so. Yeah, just get rid of one. Could go through. No. Yeah. Or firm again. Nose. Nose. The Madaw team is shot rock at the back here. That one just stayed where I threw it. Yeah. So, did I need to nose that one? Yeah, it's pretty much good. 70. I almost got it right there, but. Nine, yes! Yeah, a little scary if it's high side because it might have jammed and then not got that out. So. Yeah, well, same. I'm trying not to flare or float them, right? Yeah. Jerry, call the line here. Hard on it. Go on it. Go on it. Get a bounce. Get a bounce. Oh, hard, hard, hard. Right Still your rock. You could have pushed it. <laughs> Even if we get rid of one, right? Well, if we nose this, we're sitting two. Yeah, I know. But then they're going to draw. Yep. So it'd be nice to tick, tick. Well, we know as we sit. Well, whatever you want, yeah. Yeah. Be nice to tick tick and then go up okay. there, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, worst case, you know, is it? I'll yeah. try the tick tick. Yeah. Okay. So like there with nine. Okay. I just threw firm and it didn't move. We're hitting this one first. Uh, I mean, this one kissing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I was gonna play the out turn, Joe. How come you just saw mine? I like the out turn better.
we got one. That's good. <laughs> trying to hit the other one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you still just made the three. So Caitlin's just going to play a freeze down to this red rock at the back of the 12 foot. If she can make it perfect, she can still get her two points in this end. looks pretty good. It's got to be there. So Sherry has no choice but just to pick this rock out of here, which will give Wazilki a chance for two points in this end. Small chance for a double here. Easy shot, Julie. Do you want to just take throw, like, two just points? To tap it? No, I she only has to tap at what? Well, six, six inches. Six inches, yeah. Hit it on this side, you're staying in. Yeah. So the uh, question is, what? Right, how do you want to get this rock yeah. out of here? Do you tap it back? Do you do you play a yeah, quiet hit like weight on it? Yeah. But I still like right there. And it's a personal preference, right? Yes. So backside anywhere on this side, you're good. Yeah. She's going to throw back line. Yeah. Okay, just like back line. Yeah. Okay. A 95 is good. One point for the Wazilki team. The end of six. Right, the score is now six to four for Sherry Madaw uh, no, going into the seventh end. And as we update you on the other sheets, we have a tie on sheet five again, three all, with Tippin having hammer in the seventh end. In the Ald versus Armstrong game, seven three lead for Ald. Armstrong has hammer in the seventh. And just waiting for the score to be posted on sheet two. They have finished their sixth end. 
It was 6 to 2 after 5 for Kadoran. So unfortunate miss for Caitlin in that one. It's kind of the kind of shot you have to you okay with going throw with confidence, Julie. No, they got Did it look like she got it inside the line as she was throwing? or I didn't think it looked that bad. She yeah. maybe could have used a little more ice. A little more ice, her yeah. weight was good. Title Sports Live would like to invite curling fans across Canada and around the world to tune into our pay-per-view coverage of the 2018 Men's Recharge with Milk Tanker, January 30th to February 4th. Watch the best men's teams compete for the chance to represent Ontario at the Tim Hortons Briar in Regina, Saskatchewan. Get your tickets at www.titlesportslive.ca slash pay-per-view. That's going to be played up in Huntsville this year. Same format as the Scotties is. Something new. Get on her. Hard line. Hard line. Yeah, another event being held Fire. in the North this year is uh, up in North Bay. The Fire World Fire. Women's Fire. Championship Fire. will be held up there. Yeah, that's going to be good. I might have to take a little road mm. trip up there. I like that shot. I know Caitlin called it in, but I don't mind yeah, that's the double shot. guard. Yeah. Get the shooter for a corner. So Lee's going to try to play the tick here. Take it over. Go for the back one instead. Mm -hmm. That works. Really nice weight on that. So now, even though Wazoki would love to go around the center line guard with two Madaw stones in there, it's tough to. Ignore. To be aggressive, mm -hmm. you can try to do it being uh, on the defensive side, the hit and get the roll behind the guard now. Sherry's just going to peel this guard, being up two with hammer. Might even get the other yellow one on the top 12 foot on the way by. Don't want to get too cute and roll something into the button right. area. Yeah, the peel's the most you important right. to make the peel.
So Sherry's pretty happy. Gonna have a nice open end here for her. Yeah, I think uh, Caitlin, a better option was, I know she's afraid that Madaw has too many rocks in the house, mm -hmm. but you know what, you're down two without. And so it's time to uh, yeah, take I don't some chances. I don't think there was any chance of Madaw going around the guard if they had called the guard. No, no. At least for a few shots anyway. Forgot to mention when I was talking about um, Lee Merklinger's oh, siblings. Yes. I forgot to mention that she also has a twin mm -hmm. sister, Brienne. Uh, Brienne, I bet she is watching this Roll. right now. Roll. Yeah. She's at home with a new baby. Well, Caitlin's choosing to hit this, so she could possibly roll in front of the other Madal rock. Pause. It will make it a little tougher for Sherry to score more than one point. Go. Whoa, Going for whoa. the double now. The thin double. Yes. Yep. Nice. Sherry will now just go for the blank end here. So I mentioned earlier that uh, we were waiting for the score to be posted on sheet two, and in the sixth end, this is the Duncan Kadoran game. Duncan did take one, so that game is now six to three. Kadoran leading over Duncan. All our games are in the seventh end right now. Team all up seven to three on Armstrong. Tippin and Marshall have got a tight one tied. Playing the seventh end. Tippin having hammer there. Yeah. Looks like Tippin is drawing for three at the moment. Yep. And on our feature sheet, Mada is up two points on Wazilki here in the seventh end. And she will try to blank this. Seventh.
Tr Sherry will try to hit this and roll out. Keep the hammer in the eighth end. And if she can score a couple in the eighth then she's going to be sitting okay. Shot by Sherry Mada with that Sherry blanks the seventh and the score will remain six to four for Mada playing the eighth end. On sheet five, Tippin is looking like she has a an open draw to the rings for four. She's got her three locked up. So that's uh, Tippin versus Marshall. Looking pretty good. Her sweepers like it. Whoa. No line. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No line yet. One's fine. So that's a four end for Tippin. She goes up right, seven to three over right. Marshall go, as go, they go, head go, into right. the eighth end. On sheet three, Armstrong is mounting a comeback against Ald. That one started out 6 nothing. The score is now 7-5 to five for Ald. Ald does have hammer in the eighth end. And on sheet two, we had uh, Kadoran take two in the seventh end. So they're well in control of that game, playing the eighth end up 8-3 to three over Duncan. So I had a chance to play with this Wazilki team earlier in the year. Katrina had an injury that she had to recover from. She hurt her leg. So she seems to be recovered just fine. Did she hurt her leg curling? No, she no. hurt it uh, at um, a team building event at uh, the high school where she works. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, she looks like she's back in form here now. So Kayla now realizes there's no point in hitting these Mada rocks in the house. She's going to have to go hard for a steal here. She's going to try to put up another center guard. Just over the hog line, I think is what they're hoping for. Looks a little strong here. Mm. It's not a bad spot, and the double peel is probably going to catch one of the red rocks in the rings. I think this is a wise choice. Mm -hmm. Just just peel this guard. Yeah. I think Lee Merklinger has missed a shot this mm, entire game. No? <laughs> no, I don't. 
She's deadly with her peels. I remember playing Sherry for years, and if you got down two points, Merklinger just steps up and takes away all your chances. <laughs> So looking for the longer guard here, just over the hog. These are not easy to make. No, 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 no. Line's a bit better on this one. Mm -hmm. I think there's still a double there, yeah, eh? I think so, eh? It just curled a little bit. Mm -hmm. to cross the rock here. Seems to like this turn a little better. Caitlin's calling a hit here. I thought she had called the draw. I missed no. that. Ooh, she's got a good roll here. Really nice shot. Half under anyway. Great shot coming up. Same way. Yeah, Sherry wanted to Nicely get done. A yeah. roll as far away from that center line as possible. Going to give Caitlin another opportunity here to roll behind the guard. Yeah. She can't yeah. throw this kind of weight and hope for the perfect oh. roll. I think she just got that a little tight out of her hand. Yeah, much easier to get small rolls like that if you could just throw like a, a little bit quieter control weight hit, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a little bit more a ice across yeah. the face. Yeah. Yeah. Sherry's not going to take any chances here. She's just going to peel this guard. She'd be happy even to take a single point here. Wants to score. Do you think she would take a point or still go for the blank? Huh. Well, we had this discussion at the U21s last yeah? week. Yeah? Yeah, about the eight then, whether right. to take a point. If taking one's more advantageous than actually blanking. Yeah. Jerry Gertz is the guy to talk to about mm, that. Mm -hmm. He has all kinds of stats on it. I think he was actually in favor of taking a point. Okay, we're going to have a timeout here from the Wazilki team. probably get a peel. And then we'll end up having to hit. And then we'll hit this. Blanket, I'd rather, I don't want to give it two. No. We're yeah. not stealing, so it's either a force or a blank. Yeah. I guess hitting that for now. Like, we can, we can guard one more. Yeah, I'd rather just 
are on the hit now. Like this? Unless we throw the guard. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we... Yeah, because he came out. Yeah, if we throw a guard up there... The only thing you can hope is that she jams it, but she's going to throw it this way. What do you like? My it first instinct was the freeze, but that risks giving I don't you. like the freeze. I either like the hit or the guard. And blank is okay? Steal, steal? Yep. We're not set up for a nice, we're not set up for a steal right now. Just firm. So the decision is to hit this rock. They were debating this or the guard. I'm not convinced that Sherry, Sherry probably would have peeled the guard. Yes, she would have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were worried if they put up a guard that Sherry would come around it, yeah, but I, I do not think so. Yeah. Hi! I think Sherry's pretty happy with this oh. call. Oh! Taking the point. She just. This is her first rock. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm two rocks ahead of myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. All it's right. okay, Julie, when we it's watch <laughs> this much curling all day. It happens. The time out <laughs> threw me off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. But I do think yeah. uh, if she has a hit on her next one, I think she will try to blank it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Caitlin will hit this. She wants to roll more to the center line only to make it slightly harder for Sherry to hit and roll the all the way out of the rings. Sherry's already down in the hack, throwing this rock through the house. So after eight ends of play, the Mada team will remain up two okay. on the was Wazilki team, six to four going into the ninth end and Sherry Mada will have hammer. Team Duncan just took two in their matchup, Duncan and Kadoran. So that score is now eight to five in favor of Kadoran heading into the ninth end. And sheet three and sheet five have a just a few more rocks to go before they finish their eighth end. So we'll bring you those updates as they come in. Quite a bit of rotation there. Looks like uh, the old Armstrong game over here, Kathy, is having to draw here. for a point cool. in the eighth end. Draw against one. Nice one. And in our Marshall tipping game, uh, Marshall is drawing for two on her last rock. She's got one locked up. Pretty good. 
So Alt gets her point. She's now up 8-5 to five over Armstrong. And we're just watching Marshall's last rock come into the rings. I think they might have got their deuce. They went to the back gate. Yeah, There's looks a rock. Looks to me like it's two it's for close. Marshall, but they may measure. One for sure. It's a three. Yep. Yeah, two. Two for two for Marshall. So seven to five for Tippin, heading into the ninth. Tippin will have hammer in the ninth. I go a bit. The ice seems to be Rim. building up a little better for this draw. Yeah, you're right. Arr! We haven't seen too many rocks come Arr! up late. Arr! Yeah, Arr! they don't seem to be struggling Arr! with draw weight in the Arr! later part Keep of the game going. like they were yeah. earlier. Right. Really nice guards here. Yeah, perfect shot. By Katrina. Lee Armstrong is getting lots of practice on this tick shot in this game. Ticked it over, but didn't tick it over as much as she would have liked to. Mm -hmm. Still a nice shot. Here, Sherry and Julie tipping, talking about how cold they are out there. <laughs> Actually, Julie, I'm just looking at sheet five, and it looks like uh, Marshall oh. only scored one point. Wow. So Tippin's up deceiving. three, playing nine. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's any double opportunity here, so I think they're just going to peel the center line guard. Silky team has some rocks to work with here. She can get another guard up here where it's not going to be doubled off. Line's good, just a nice line. high guard would be good here. Is a double here. Well, this one really took off on them. Jeez, I don't know. That almost looked like it picked it. I don't know. In fact, I thought she was a little bit, a little bit full. Of yeah. The yeah. Well, that gives Caitlin an opportunity to yeah, 
Let's draw one in here. Kind of jump, okay? Hard! Hard line stuff! The line looks okay. Hard! You're yeah, it's the it. weight. Actually, it doesn't look bad either. Right back! Right back! Hard! Looks like a great hard. shot. Right back! Nice shot there. That one curled a little bit more steadily. It didn't uh, take off on them like the other peel did. Caitlin's just going to ignore everything. Get another one behind that guard. So for this shot, they really have to make sure they roll away like they did on the first one. If they nose hit this, it'll give some backing to the Wazilki team. Even though they are making a lot of nice shots around that guard, it's still easy to get at it, mm -hmm. Julie. You almost have to overbury this. Yeah. actually light. I think so. I yeah. think it was the weight on that. The line looked pretty nice and it just ended up curling too much because it was yeah. a little light. They were calling T, but uh, that wasn't even, that was maybe biting top 12. Mm -hmm. I think Sherry has to be careful here. They're going to try to come around. Yeah, she does have to be careful. Sherry could even come uh, the other way with the intern instead of going through yeah. the port. I think they just want to put this top eight. Colin, top, top four. four. Okay.
It's trying to curl. Mm -hmm. Still on the yellow? Yeah, I think Just, so. Yeah. That's an unfortunate miss, but it gives Wazelki another chance. Well, I think you can, but it's So they've decided on the intern I think draw. The side path's just getting a bit fudgy. The wide there, side. So I don't like how they're traveling there. Has to be T. Full eight, really. Like, full eight foot, but right in there, Barry. I think, yeah, that would have been like top 12, but I think out here that'll be fine. So she needs a piece of the forefoot. Stay really close. You're quite a, you're far out Whoa. there right now. Whoa. Staff's rock. Whoa, you pulled it out. Off the red. Whoa. This is on that outside red guard. Hard, Laura. It just did not yeah. curl. Hard, Laura. So that leaves Sherry Mada a like draw here for three points. So I guess they're avoiding this path down the middle. I think they're all thinking it's fudging down there. So trying to find a path. I think that port is kind of hard to get through anyway, yeah. Julie. Uh, kind of. Looks wide from up here, but. Yeah. Nobody down there liked it, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually line. curling. She's by, but just she by. Might be heavy unless she can go to that back one. There we go. So three points for Sherry Madaw. Okay. So the, the other end. three games out there are just finishing up their ninth end. <laughs> and we're going to have handshakes no? here no? on our featured game. Before we go, let's give a quick update yeah. to uh, we'll on the see. other scores. Yep, we'll see uh, a few of the last rocks come down the ice here. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap it up here, yeah. Julie. So let's just okay. give a quick update on the scores. All right. So on sheet two, it's uh, eight to five for Kadorn over Duncan. Uh, Duncan does have Hammer um, in this ninth end, and she is sitting three uh, with a few more rocks to go there. On sheet three, uh, Ald is leading eight to five. Um, they're calling a timeout right now in their ninth end. Um, and on sheet five, it's a score of seven to four in the ninth end for Tippin. Marshall does have last rock uh, heading uh, as they finish up the ninth end over there. And that does conclude our feature game with Team Mada defeating Team Wazilki by a score of nine to four. Please tune in at 7.30 tonight 
when we will be showing draw four of this Ontario Women's Curling Championship. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our viewers for watching our coverage of the 2018 Ontario Scotties Tournament of Hearts Curling Championships brought to you by Curl On. On behalf of myself, Mary, and our entire TSL crew, we wish you a good afternoon from Whitby Curling Club. This has been a presentation of Title Sports Live. performance. Hi, I'm John Wheeler, a proud member of the Whitman Curling Club and a Remax Realtor. Wishing all the competitors at the 2018 Ontario Scotties the very best of luck. When it's time to get a handle on your house, hurry, call John. He's no hack. At Hand and Stone, we believe it's not what you get out of a massage or facial. It's what a massage or facial gets out of you. Give us one hour and we'll turn your weekly grind into a weekly grin. We're taking relaxation from being a little pricey to a little price. Only at Hand and Stone. Make every day different at Subway restaurants with the $3.99 sub of the day. Every day it's a different six inch sub, like sweet onion chicken teriyaki on Wednesday for just $3.99. Or make it a foot long for just $7.49. Only at Subway restaurants.